All right, man, we are back with another one. And in this one, last one, we did the uh, little uh, edibles there, which turned out to be eh. And then we did the pen as well, which turned out to be eh. Now I have showed you guys this. This is the guava. All right. If I can get it out of the bag here, some fat nugs here. There it goes, boom. You see that. Zoom in here a little bit. Well, I guess we're zoomed in all the way. So this is how we're looking. Let me see if I can get some more whiteness or brightness here on this screen. Let me drag this over to my other screen here. See, this white light will help with everything. Kinda, not really though. But you see how it is. This is guava from Preferred Gardens. Uh, for you THC motherfuckers, 20.8%, 20, 20 all right? But you see, looking frosty. Smell, nothing really, to be honest, man, not gonna lie. Uh, if I snap it open, and that's some pissy cheese. And if I squeeze, boom, all right? All right, grinded some of this guava up <clears throat> on the grind. It's more of that pissy cheese smell. I do have some very warm water in here. Let's see if we can get some flavor, right? Cheers. I gotta lie, that was a little weird. That was like disgusting. And then at the end it was like pleasant. If you use warm water, you tend to get more flavor for some reason. Ugh. All right, well, as you see, we're smoking on the guava in this video. So I'll holla at y'all when we get to smoking some more <laughs> guava. This place is better. No, this place is better. No, this place is better. You guys forget we used to be smoking like fucking cat lint and shit. Everybody's cannabinoid system is different. So therefore, you gotta understand, some people might like Vatican, some people might like the flowery. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. All right, now that I've eaten that delicious Subway meal, let's get into this preferred gardens. Gary Payton, shall we? Now this is the main bud here, all right? It's one big ass 3.5 nug. Actually, I, I think I showed this in the last video, actually. But that's how we're looking. Smell on this, there's a little bit of a cheese funk coming off of it, but it's faintly there. There was another tiny ass piece that came in this bag, but it's uh, no longer with us because I smoked it. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I'm squeezing the fuck out of this. This is, I, I, now, I'm not gonna rip this open, man, because I do want to take a picture of this, because this is, like, probably one of the nicest knives I've had in a while. But as y'all can see, it's not too shabby, man, all right? I've had Gary Payton, like I've said before, from Fluent. From what I remember, it was pretty decent, so we'll see what this shit does, all right? Uh, I will take the tiniest little piece here and just... Yeah, like I said, some cheese smell, all right? I'm gonna grind some of this up, blow the bowl up, and I'm holly. All right, y'all probably can't see me because it's dark as fuck, but it's like almost 7 p.m. on a Tuesday, and I'm about to go to Subway, um, and I just smoked, uh, joined the, the, some of that gastro pot, kind of pretty much the rest of that. Uh, feeling okay, you know? I feel as of lately, my tolerance is kind of getting to a point, and I might want to chill out a little bit. Uh, but when I get back, we're gonna really get into this Gary Payne, all right? So, <sighs> Alrighty, y'all. I don't know if I already did this clip or not. I'm gonna assume that I didn't because I see a fresh bowl here of this Gary Payton. Going in for some flavor here. Now, I'll be honest, this bowl isn't exactly the cleanest, guys. But I have hit this bong with a clean bong. And I already kind of know the flavor profile that I'm gonna describe here. So, just give me a second here, all right? <clears throat> Cheers. Uh, 
Now for me, I seem to be getting some creamy vibes here. Now, according to this website here, which I believe is Leafly, All Bud, All Bud says it has a diesel earthy herbal sour taste. Now I'm sorry, diesel herbal spicy sweet flavor. And that's kind of what I'm picking up here. The name would be Diesel. <laughs> I'm gonna chill on this for a bit, man. And then I'm probably gonna smoke on the guava a little bit. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on everything. And if you just want a little preview of what my thoughts are gonna be, to be fair, guys, I honestly feel like I've already stated my opinion on this stuff and it's gonna be the same as my last review, kinda. But I'll, I'll holla at y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so it's been some time and I'm just gonna give you my final thoughts. Now look, man, we said this in the last video and I think I'm gonna say the same thing here, but I'm gonna reiterate it and, and just say it a little bit different this time, okay? There is nothing wrong, okay? Let me make this clear. There is absolutely nothing wrong with anything coming out of Preferred Gardens, okay? Uh, I, I, first off, I just wanna say like Dave himself, Dave's the guy who runs the whole thing. Again, I don't personally know the guy, but from what I've seen, he seems like just a real ass dude, okay? He loves what he does, he takes pride in his work, and that's all that matters. Now I will tell you that, all that shows through, right? Like. I, I haven't smoked today. It's uh, 12.30 on the 2nd of March. And I haven't smoked today. And I've taken barely any hits here. And I feel it, okay? Now, here's the thing, guys. And, 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 and it's the same thing like with the last video, man. I'm not going to sit here and compare... Jungle Boys and 710 and, and, and you know, all these places, man, because I, I, I can't, like, I don't, you know what I mean? To me personally, I feel like if you paid $55 for this, which is what this costs, $55, I feel like you wouldn't be mad about it, right? Like, you're not going to be mad that you spent $55 on this eighth, because as you can see, after a couple of hits, I'm already feeling it, okay? as far as the effects they're kind of in here a little bit i definitely feel like it, it starts here and it's like slowly like i feel like the more i smoke the more it's gonna like leak down into my body um definitely indica but my point is could you get the same effect somewhere else for a little bit cheaper i i think you can i think i think gold leaf is right there i think jungle boys is right there too uh now that's not Again, like I said in the last video, man, it's not to discredit these guys. It's not to discredit Preferred Gardens. It's not to take away from Preferred Gardens. It's not to sit here and say, you shouldn't go out and spend 55 on this. I think you should go out and spend 55 on this. If you don't have a problem spending 55 on an eighth, then this isn't no big deal. If you're one of those people out there who actually went out and paid $65 for an eighth of Connected or Alien Labs, you should have no problem buying this. My point is, and I think this is my main focus from now on, is that you guys need to understand everybody's different, right? Like I'm in a, I'm in a pot discord and there's like, you know, people tend to argue sometimes back and forth because somebody will say they enjoyed this strain. Then this other person will be like, oh my God, what are you talking about? That's midi as fuck. And then this person will be like, what are you talking about? And then that'll cause some shit. Dude, listen. It doesn't matter what the fuck you smoke, bro, okay? Like, I don't care what you smoke as long as it does what it needs to do for you. Are you in some pain? Did you smoke that weed and that pain went away? Good, I'm gonna give a shit if you paid a thousand dollars for it, bro. Like, it did what it needed to do, and if you're happy with that, then that's all that matters, okay? Too much are people starting to get into this thing now where it's like, you smoke that? That's mids, bro. You don't deserve to smoke weed, like, what? Like, what, what? Dude, at the end of the day, listen, take it from me. Smoke whatever the fuck you wanna smoke. 
buy and pay whatever you want to pay for whatever it is you want as long as you're happy with the choice and as long as it does what it needs to do for you that's what it's all about man okay you know don't feel like you have to smoke jungle boys or the flowery or prefer gardens to to like be somebody or like that just sounds stupid in itself just saying that the fact they even have to say that just sounds dumb as fuck like i should have to tell you that it doesn't matter what you smoke as long as you're smoking so anybody out there that's telling you that you should do this and not that and you're a nobody because you're doing this instead of that that person's a loser tell them to fuck off and sock them in the face if they get out of line all right anyways this guava here man i'm gonna go ahead and give this two thumbs up and recommend it man like i said i just woke up i've been smoking heavy lately as y'all seen and i'm only a, not even like two full bowls in and i'm already feeling it so i'm gonna take this last one here and i'm gonna send you on your way as far as the gary payton goes man um i think i remember the gary payton being good but i don't think it was like this though man uh so if i had to pick right now i would say guava is the winner over the gary payton but you might enjoy the gary payton as well again to each throw man if you want to spend 55 on an eighth that's you i'm not going to go out of my way to spend 55 on an eighth but if it's a strain that i haven't tried and it's 55 dollars and it's from you know somebody i trust like dave or like some of the people pushing the flower out like burn over there at uh these other places, gold leaf, all that, then I'll, then I'll spend the money, you know? Cheers, I love y'all. One of these days, damn, that tastes good. Mm. One of these days I will go live again, you know? I haven't in a while, but. I like this flavor saver, man. I keep saying I might bite the bullet and rebuy this. But every time I smoke it, it makes me want to rebuy it. Thank you for watching, guys. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Let me know what you're smoking on. Let me know, did you cop anything lately? If you did, did you like it? Anything you think I should try? I don't know when I'm going to be getting more stuff. But who knows, man? I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't be either, right? Appreciate y'all, man. Holla at you, boy.